It's not recording now. Right? Yeah. Hi, hey. how are you, YouTubers? Uh, happy Independence Day, and guess what? It's our Independence Day uh, from uh, what? Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, from obesity. We're not obese anymore. Yay! Right, Donna? Yeah. This is uh, this is my friend here, and um, she had the lap band, and um, what she did was um, she had the lap band, and she had to take it out uh, because she had other complications. It wasn't uh, doing the proper thing for her weight loss, so she converted to bypass surgery. So, Donna, how long did you have the uh, lap band in for? For about two and a half years. And um, Donna uh, was um, overweight. Uh, what was your highest ever recorded weight? About 232. 232. And how tall are you? 5'4". And um, she's over 50. <laughs> and um, so with the lap band, how much weight did you lose? Maybe 30, 40 pounds. 30, 40 pounds. Come and, and go. Yeah. And um, because she had Barrett's esophagus, um, her esophagus was inflamed. And every time they would um, fill the band up, give her um, and fill, uh, she would get a flare up of Barrett's esophagus. And um, her esophagus would get real raw. So you decided to convert to gastric bypass, right? Yeah. And uh, so how long has it been since gastric bypass? A little over a year. And how much weight did you lose with the gastric bypass? Almost 100 pounds. Almost 100 pounds. See that? Yay. And um, so you're, what's your current weight now? What? About 130. 130? About 135. Yeah, she's at like, 130. Yeah, 130. she's at the goal weight that I want to be. And uh, actually, when when I had my lap band and you converted to gastric bypass, remember when we got on the scale, you were the same weight? Yeah. We were the same weight, but Donna, I think Donna had s smaller legs. Her legs weren't as big as mine. I had fatter legs, and she had thinner legs. And so we were just the opposite in, in like, body types, because you were smaller on top, and smaller on the bottom and bigger on top, and I was smaller on top and bigger on the bottom. So um, so how do you feel now? Great. Great. And all your, um, your high blood pressure is under control, right? Yes. And, I don't uh, take blood pressure medicine anymore. So. See that? And, uh, but you didn't have diabetes, right? No. Uh -uh. And you had sleep apnea, and that seems That's to be under control, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So, um, but uh, you, you, would you do it all again? Yep. Yep. I should have done the bypass in the beginning for me. I didn't know it was going to get there. It's just obvious. So what are the, um, what is, um, what do you think the, the only downside of um, gastric bypass surgery, what is the downside of it? You have to take vitamins every day, right? Mm -hmm. Because you have that malabsorption problem, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, so you have to be mindful of your lab tests, right? Because you yeah. get, yeah. what are the complications and the side effects to gastric bypass with the, Labs. You can get anemia if you don't take your vitamins yeah. right. But I haven't had any problems at all. Really. Good. Just Good. having a few little minor things here and there in the very beginning, but nothing now at all. So it has more positives than negatives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when she had her first, uh, when she had her surgery and they took the port out from the lap band. Mm -hmm. Remember how swollen it was in the beginning? And yeah. But then it went away. Then you didn't have any problems after uh -huh. that, right? Yeah. yeah. So what size is your clothing now? What size do you wear? Um, you went from what size? What did you start out as with your like clothing? Yeah, you're 22, 20. 22, 20. Now and your top size was what? 
Um, 2X. 2X. So now what are you? Now I can wear a 4, or a, between a 4 and a 7. And you're at a, a medium top, right? Medium or large, yeah. yeah. So, um, I know you were saying before when you looked in the mirror, you continued to look to your old self. Right. You're a B self. When you look in the mirror, do you still see that person in the mirror or do you see skinny dotted now? Or medium size. Medium <laughs> size. Yeah. But you don't see you don't see that obese person anymore. Huh. Because I know you were saying that every time you looked in the mirror you saw the obese person. Right. But you see what you see is really what you are now. Right. I think a lot of people struggle with that. They I, there's a a lady saying that um, you know even though she's lost a hundred pounds, when she looks in the mirror, she still sees her obese self. Right. She struggles with that. And when you eat, you always think, I don't want to go back to that again. Oh really? Yeah, that you think that in your yeah pops up in your head. You don't want to go back to that. Think about what you're eating and how much you're eating. So, how was your post-op as far as like your incision for the gastric bypass? Did you have any was, complications on that? No, but it was it was different than normally because they had to take a lap band and everything out, and they had a problem. You know, it was hard for them to get the cord out. So. But after that, I was fine. So I wish I would have done that in the beginning. But like I said, I didn't know it was going to end up very esophagus. So what's your quantity? What kind of quantity of food do you eat now? Like smaller, but I eat a lot of times. Is it usually is it the, like equal to the lap band? Like about a cup of food at a sitting? Is it like a cup of food? Yeah, but in the beginning it was less. Mm -hmm. In the beginning it was way less. Now it's about a couple. So you're about a year post-op, right, mm -hmm. from the gastric. And um, so you stay within those limits. You, you Do you ever cheat? Do you ever cheat? Yeah. Then you get, you get dumping, syndrome. dumping syndrome. And and for those who don't know what dumping syndrome, what does that mean, dumping? You get diarrhea real bad. And you vomit? Uh... I haven't really vomited with it. I just, it'll make you feel real sick to your stomach. Like you could vomit where you wish you would. <laughs> I remember. I like it with the van. The van, you just you throw up. Right. You vomit, you get really BB. sick. Yeah. So, um,. So what would be your suggestions on um, your advisement of people who have are obese and are looking for some site some types of surgery? What would your suggestion be? The band is less invasive, invasive. Right? yeah, and the bypass is uh, quicker acting. I guess. You yeah. lose the weight more quickly. Where you like weight a lot yeah. faster and you you'll forever be taking the vitamins. So you have to make sure you're gonna And lab work. Take it and lab First off, work care yeah. to your doctor. It's a lifetime thing. Right. In the beginning it's a lot of lab work, but then like now it's not as much lab work. And you don't have to go to the doctor as much. Yeah, the difference between I had lap band and, and Donna, you know, I converted to gastric bypass. She has a very physical job, but as far as exercise every day, you've never gone in the gym or you've never done anything like me. Like I go in the gym and I do the treadmill and all that kind of stuff just to get the weight off. Where, um, you know, with Donna, the, the I don't just know. Came it off. comes off, but I do I do a lot of physical work during the day. Right. Mowing grass, 
to right. help with my parents and taking care of their farm and everything. So it's a, a lot of, I get a lot of exercise. I don't sit around. <laughs> so. Yeah. So I just wanted to uh, introduce you to my friend Donna and uh, just to give you a comparison of the two, um, two types of weight loss surgery. And uh, today is 4th of July. Happy 4th of, of July. July. Let's go to the pool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, we're going to go to the pool. Swimming. Guess what? We're going to wear our bathing suits. Yeah, for a change instead of clothes and covering it up. <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're not afraid to uh, bare our bodies anymore. Um, showing the skin out of the bathing suit uh, <laughs> out in the uh, public now. So uh, I hope you all have a great day. And uh, see you next time. Bye. Bye.